One, two. Should we say this in the uh, count? We count we, so we do we do everything perfectly, Griff. Perfectly, I tell you. Even when we contrast the occupation. Even when we're wrong, we're perfectly wrong. Right? Perfect. Right, Vincent? Even, now live in a perfect <laughs> world with somebody and Vinny. Right hey, here on the, hey not, Vinny. Uh, ooh, hey, Flash. RLMRadio.xyz. Yeah, well, the meters are all reading, so I'm pretty sure we're live and they can hear us now in the reallibertymedia.com. I bought some bodies. Oh, yes. We don't, we don't have a big crowd today, do we? Oh, we got a small crowd. Well, what are you going to do? But this is the last unpredictable Tuesday show I'm going to do. Is it? Cirque goes back to slavery next week, so yeah. Well, so I've been staying up with her and screwing up my schedule and doing whatever I want. I'm out of control. Um, <laughs> we should strike up a band. <laughs> no, we shouldn't. I've, I've heard you sing. Thank you. Anyway, bots oh. and bodies on the real liberty media.com chat for your. Hey, I got an idea. What? Let's let's do every other one. Ah, for your visual impairment. Do every other one, Tonight, and I'll do every. We every have week. the barman. Beetle. Grim near. Moose girl is gone. Ah. Brackets He's DC. Gonna ride a train, baby. High on Uh-oh. cocaine. Uh oh. Brackets DC. In back brackets, yes. Anti. Asmo. Would you call me? Oh no, you. Oh yeah, right by Beth Z. Chal Sedani. And Grams is in the garden. I be Don C. And Java be Javin. And Meister Brow. And Ponder Gander be a uh, thinking and a looking. And Miss Kate. And Rob works. And trust no one. Vanna White is racist. In the name. Vinny Cat. Yeah. Oh, weather to work. <laughs> the Phantom. And well then. Sure. Hey, Mike. Hey, honey. Yeah, honey's in the kitchen doing doing honey stuff. How'd you like the way I played uh, in that? Uh, and well, uh, oh. cyborg noodle. Yes. No, I'm supposed to say cyborg. Oh, noodle. okay. I said, and then I said, cool. Ah, and sib. And there's you, flash somebody. Hello, me. There's Frump. Somebody. It's okay. It's no, okay. Uh, that's from <laughs> Oh, Jay's nine's Jay's. In all Scotland, I might yeah. kiss Prince. Who's this Prince, anyways? I don't know. Jack- all through the pond sauce. I, whoa, you sock a puppet. Oh, you're wiping out what old sock puppet. He's yeah. He said, oh, hmm. he said what did he say? What did I he don't say? know. Oh. I can't. Your I can't read that way. Okay. It's hot. Yeah. So smart ass and Van Meter. Miss Damn Donna. Ugh, from, she's now in Florida. Florida. Yeah, where the water is good for your third eye. So, we're we're what today? Are we? Uh, well, right? something that's crossed my mind today was. Parallels. Parallel. And what, it, yeah, what brought that to me was uh, the people that were talking about voting on other sites. But, you know, here on Minds, we've been screwing around for a little while, playing word games. And, you know, <clears throat> a lot of us think voting is not what a lot of other people think voting is. There mm-hmm. you have it. What side of the voting coin... Are you on, Mr. Vincenzo? Well, I would like you to have uh, my vote. Hmm. Wow. That's not very good. Well, I mean, use it. I don't want... Wow. See, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't trust people that wanted me to lead them somewhere. That would be kind of weird. I'd I'd wonder what they wanted. We have inside information. To what? Prince is an NSA agent. Uh, NSA guest, says Frumpt. 
Um, How do you come to that decision, though, because of a name? Whoa. Would you say are you people paranoid or what? NSA, yes. Well, welcome NSA. Thank you for your participation, <laughs> Prince. I'm not NSA. I'm CIA. Sorry for the misunderstanding, there, Prince. Prince is a CIA, not an NSA agent. <laughs> Good sense of humor, too. <laughs> nice to see a new, nice to see a new name on the screen. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, parallels, and it started with the bickering about voting and what you get for your vote and all that kind of stupid shit. Because I, get it? I don't believe I don't believe you get anything for your vote. Period. You get what these liars give you, and then they make up stories and they you know they break every freaking law and rule. Think of a politician that hasn't been charged or accused of doing something wrong. If it, how can that go with the fucking territory of being in politics? Could it be the politics is the problem? Maybe the politics has been corrupted to the point where it's uh, beyond redemption. True. How do you... you got the okay. whole thing stocked, right? I mean, you get these hybrids fishing on, and they don't reproduce, and then you just got to keep restocking the same type of uh, back in there. So where you go get them? From the pool? <laughs> Yeah, but see, who are these pool of of politicians? Exactly. Well, but they claim these people are all voted into office, but they're not. They're selected by banksters. They're promoted by MSM until you're familiar with their face, and then they make you choose one or the other. It's it's not it's not what they tell us it is. And the people, every freaking one of them that came out of my life, Nixon to Clinton, to Bush, to Obama which will soon turn into Trump. When Trump's out of office, <clears throat> then they'll all be able to prove all the horrible shit he's doing while he's in office. It's the way the game works. What I'm doing right now, listen to this. Crying. I'll see if you can tell what the sound is. Hmm. You're masturbating. No. Then I have no idea. It's a wit rock. A, a what? Wit rock. No idea what that means. Oh, the wet rock is you don't know the ritual. I don't. Sorry, Grim. I don't want a free sticker for my vote. What what I want is it, actually what would work is just the truth to all the problems that we have, the answers that we do know. Stop lying about shit we don't know. Stop perverting shit to make money and be you know be decent. It's not very difficult. It seems to me it's decent to be difficult and amass a, a large amount of money at the same time. To be decent to people and make money off them simultaneously seems to be a problem. Especially like, you know that Pelosi's worth almost $200 million. How much was she worth before she went into office? I, I don't know, but her salary is like 200000 a year. So insider trading is okay for her because she's in the Congress, Senate, or whatever the hell job the bitch has got. It, it is so <clears throat> okay. They had to change the law in order for them to be able yeah, to get away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just rewrite shit so they, they don't get prosecuted for what everybody else gets prosecuted for. And the public just continuously keeps supporting this crap, and I can't figure out why. And when I go against it, look at the shit I get for not being for it, any of it. If I'm against Trump, to some idiots out there, they think I'm for Hillary. No, I think they're both the, it's the same fucking thing. How many times do you have to say that? Well, there's people that just ignore what you say. <laughs> what are you trying to say? There's people that ignore what I say and say huh? what they want me to say. Say it again. I just did. <laughs> Twice huh? for your stupidity. What? Exactly. That hmm, you know what I mean. Don't <laughs> don't be a Vinny. On in a perfect world. Be perfect. Don't play coy with me. But well maybe you're not playing. Maybe you are just dumb as shit and you can't help it. Hey, huh? who who decides what to call you? Me. Okay, I don't think so. Well, I mean, people. You know, say you know, my so wife will call you. If you don't say like Jose instead of. Or, you yeah, know. but you know what my wife would call you? What? A Yankee. 
Yeah, but that's only because of her ignorance, and she doesn't understand the difference between a northern aggression uh, person and uh, the, the tales from there. Yeah. Their, they a so speaking like, of parallels, see, it's not her ignorance. It's your pompous acidness of thinking right. that everybody in the other part of the world that's never heard of, of Arkansas in the first place would ever no. know there it's, was a difference between an Arkansas it's, it's, and a Boston. You know what I mean? Ignorance is not a bad word. It just yes, it is. Not knowing. Yes, it is. Yes, yeah, it is. Be ignorant of something doesn't mean you're stupid. It depends on who you're talking to, Vincent. This Are language you? has been butchered beyond. Stupid does. It's so foobard, it's not even believable. See, you know, that, that would be called. Uh, oh, um, does it? I'm sorry. You. Did you? I he said Grim says it sounds like we're broadcasting from a restaurant kitchen, sir. <laughs> she's she's in there making dinner. <laughs> okay, she's closing me in the radio room now. I can't hear it. No, oh, Grim said something. I just said no. Uh, hmm. I don't. I don't particularly have a problem with it. I'm going to get a dinner out of it. So let her cook, if that's what she wants to do. You know. And when she don't want to cook, you know what I say? I don't give a fuck. Anyway, what were we arguing about? I, I lost, uh, I got distracted from the comment. Oh, no, I went to go look for something. Oh, you were saying that ignorance. It, see, Ign it's all relative, Vince, because I understand that to a point. But there's ways to hear shit and ignore shit that you need to know because you don't like the person telling you the story. Etc. 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 You know what I mean? <laughs> what if I do like them? Well, then chances are that you'll listen to somebody that you're prone to than if you, if you were against them. Probably so, huh? Yeah. Well, I listen to my opposition on the uh, YouTube links and shit like that to see what they've got to say that I'm against. You know, I'm against vaccines, so I had to hear the arguments for vaccines to be absolutely sure that I'm convinced of what I'm convinced of to be against them. And I've heard a lot of stuff about them, so I feel informed. Well, you know, they call you a conspiracy theorist if you go against the main. Do you know what, though? I'm what? alive because of all my conspiracy theories. My yeah. conspiracy theory belief system has brought me to where I'm at in, in the place in the world I'm, I'm in at the time I'm at it so hmm, I don't feel like the life shortened uh, short change in me any if anything I think I got the advantage well that's probably put her good then yeah well they got their own shitty government here but it's it, it's so small of a country. They don't really go out of their way to fuck with the population too much. So the smaller the place that you live in here, the better. Then you just deal with the local dumbasses that run your local government. And they're not, they're not as intrusive nor greedy. There's a lot more uh, share of the wealth here than anywhere I've ever been. Went out drinking with my uh, brother-in-law the other night. Really? Oh, yeah. That was a trip. So what happened? Do you guys go out and drink before ever before? No, we known each other since me and Sir got married, and no, we've never actually. Hey, want to go down the bar? Well, what happened is the women decided they wanted to cook a meal, big meal. So they got rid of me and Dennis by sending us off to the bar. And then they figured once we were at the bar, just leave them there. Don't don't bring them back until they're done. <laughs> so they came and got us when they were done. <laughs> and neither one of us brought a phone. We figured if they wanted us to come home, they'd call the bar and say, come home. And that's what we were saying before it, it all went crazy. <laughs> but, yeah, they came and picked us up. How far is it? You guys? I don't know, about a mile. It was the first time I've been in a car. Since really? 2015, and I don't remember dr the drive home. <laughs> I was just the other day. Yeah, he he. Well, what we did, we went in to shoot a little bit of pool, 
and have a few beers. And he, he had a few extra hundred kroner in his pocket. He saw the, the gambling machine. And he said, ah, I want to play this. So he plays. Played a hundred. Didn't do shit with it. Went. And then after we got done with the first game, he goes, nah, I want to play that machine one more time. So he puts another hundred in it. And it ends up hitting it for three grand. <laughs> Is that like a lot of money? Uh, about uh, $15 to 10 I get to, it's about 15 to the 100 I think, on the exchange. Or it might be, no, it's that's the euro. Uh, I think the dollar is... Uh, so how many dollars did he win? That's what I'm saying. It doesn't trans... Your dollar is worthless here. It's like seven and a half kroners to the U.S. dollar. So that's not worth... But it's uh, 3,000 kroner. So it's the equivalent... I don't know. What, 750? Uh, I can't do the math in my head right now. <clears throat> I'm a little too high, but... Because of that, we so he's buying shots for everybody, and we just had a big old party. Turned into a big old party, <clears throat> and then here I am. <laughs> Again. Yeah, go figure. I I'm how, around people how, that how, I can trust. How many kroners did he win? Three thousand. Do you've got Google or Schmoogle or whatever? Yeah, do a translation on the computer. Just three thousand kroner to U.S. dollars. It'll give you a, it'll give you a number. I just didn't want to do it. But two hundred kroner is probably about thirty bucks, give or take. Uh, it, so but see, but it, it depends on the exchange that you go through the system. Thank you, dear. I got a lick sore, na 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 boo boo. But. It was just, you know, fun. So I got to tell him, see, you, I brought you down here to have a beer and play some pool and win on the machine. <laughs> so he got me nice and juiced. Huge. Then we came home, and life went on just like it's normal. Like nothing. See, the, the whole life here is so much different. That's uh, that's not bad dollars there. It's four hundred and forty-eight dollars. Yeah, something like that. But we had a good time out, just fucking around, being people, talking to people, getting drunk with everybody, and going home. Do they tip in Denmark? No, they don't what? need. No, there's no need to tip here. People that work get a decent living wage so that they don't depend on tips to survive. Hmm. So if somebody come to America and went to a restaurant, they would they tip here? Would they know to tip? Well, what what I what I will do is buy the bartender a drink or something. But you don't give them cash. They don't take money. They take business. It's a different culture. It's not America. What do you want me to tell you? Well, I always tip when I go somewhere. I You're in America where everybody is shortchanged on the fucking labor force. What do you expect? I I do it on a cool, like all on the down. <laughs> but you don't need to hear the people that have jobs make a decent living wage that's relative to where they live. So what about, do they not have like strip uh, strip places there? Not in this town. Them? Not not here. They do in the cities. You tip them. The I don't strippers? do strip clubs. What the fuck do I care? Have you not ever, what, isn't that one street over there where you walk down? You'd think in an Amsterdam, you butt nugget. Yeah. That's that's pretty Circled close. Circled in I, Copenhagen. Pretty close. Yeah, well, you know, Arkansas is pretty close to Nevada, but you know what? Arkansas is not Nevada. <laughs> Don't talk like a dummy. Come on. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I, see, I, here in in Freddy Town? From the woman who calls see, me a yeah. Please, don't you get... <laughs> <laughs> from the what? <laughs> the woman that calls me a yank. <laughs> well, they call all Americans that, butt nugget. Didn't you know that? That's what you call. You get called for being an American. You call everybody on the other side of the Atlantic Europeans, too. I'm so. from, yeah, I'm from California. You know what? They called me a yank. I didn't know what the fuck they were talking about. I said, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, you're a Yankee doodle dandy. I went, no, the fuck I am. What are you talking about? I'm from L.A. <laughs> Because they think all Americans are all wrapped up in that flag waving Yankee Doodle shit that I don't obviously believe in. After you've known me long enough to know, but people that don't know me don't know what I know or what I believe. They just hear a name or a voice, a sign, an idea to it, and there you go. You're an American. 
you're a yank. And then whatever they think of America is what they think of you at the moment they meet you. So if they've got a good outlook on America, I find they're very friendly and nice to me. And very few people have ever had a complaint about visiting the States. I've not heard anything except I can't go there because I got a prison record. You should like start start like a tour service and like take them, like promise an adventure and take them into the places where you don't normally go. But my wife doesn't want to go to America, so hmm. so yeah, I I traded all that freedom shit up. That's what see, Vinny. That's what I mean is, if I was not married, I would not be living this peaceful, quiet, comfortable life I'm living. I would more likely be in some kind of wacky fucking deal like you just brought up. <laughs> Hey, you ever been to Burma? <laughs> no. Let's go and see what it's like. Do you feel tamed? Oh, fuck yeah. It's nice. It's a nice life. I'm very comfortable. Yeah. But I, I did a lot of the other wild stuff when I was young, so I don't miss any of it. Like Saturday, when I was telling you, I did a little bit of drugs in the 80s with like everybody to some degree. Maybe a little more than some people, but eh, that was bar. then... That was then, yeah, but now I smoke pot and people go, oh, you're a freaking drug addict. And What? <laughs> when, I, when I did drugs, I didn't smoke much pot. So any bar fights over there in Denmark? Go? Not that I've seen. They happen, but uh, when I was talking to the local about it, he says, well, everybody knows everybody pretty much. So once in a while, two guys will have a problem over a girl or something, and we'll just put them both out and let them fight it out, but doesn't go anywhere it's different when you know you know from where you live it's when you know and you're accountable the rules change sometimes well yeah here it's pretty open you can't hide what you do so hmm. i don't see it you see it now well i don't know dennis says that it's changing because he's from here and he's lived here all his life. But he's talking about uh, Freetown, specifically. We were discussing it. And he was telling me, because uh, he, he'd been going to Free, Freetown for his whole life. And he was giving me the Danish side of, of how he sees what's happening today with politics did, and shit like what that. What did he go to Freetown for? Because he smokes hash. Uh-huh. That's why people go to Freetown, basically. I mean, it's... There's, well, I would say, oh, yeah, they had a shitload of people that were there just to smoke the hash. <laughs> and then you got, pe hash? but then you got families that come that don't smoke hash, too, that want to see the, the stores and the, be there and see what's going on. It's, it's a nice little place. It's got a lot of eateries and bars, shit like that. Uh, hmm. Souvenir stuff. Because so, where did the hash come in from? Like turkey or what something do I, like that. I'm not going to get into all that knowledge. I don't have that kind of knowledge. You don't know the... I don't... Country. You know what? The last thing I care about right now <laughs> is what country the black market imports the shit I'm smoking from. Yeah. Nah, it's, it's, it's... I don't... It's not important to me. I don't I don't question where the electricity comes from either. Did you ever see the uh, that movie Midnight Express or Midnight Run? <laughs> yeah. Midnight Run, yeah, I've seen them both, but Midnight Express is where he gets caught with the with the dope. <laughs> that was terrible. Wow. Uh, that was a fucked up situation to be in. Who's uh, that stupid? I saw that when I was young, I was like, man, I would never be a smuggler. Well, back in those days, though, before they did all this, where searching you was rare. See, that was the whole point. He didn't know he was going to be tagged and searched, and he got obviously got tagged and searched. But back before they did all this 9-11 shit, they didn't go through that in the airports. I flew plenty of times, just got on a freaking plane, sat down, strapped in, smoked my cigarettes, got to the end, got off. When I was a kid, I put a shotgun in, or was it a shotgun? In my suitcase on the airplane, you know? Like, yeah, no big... yeah. Back in the day, see? But things have changed. Now everything's for your safety. <laughs> so the system can... Make another dollar off another word. Well, that shut you right up there, mister. Yeah. I what was are you reading? 
No, I was just sitting here in the stroke of my mind thinking, Ponder Gander. Well, of course you are. Who do you want to pass the buck off to? Who do you want to blame for all this shit in life right now that ain't going your freaking way, right? Who do you want to blame for all the shit that's not going right? Uh, I would have to blame myself, I guess. (laughs) can you blame damn whoa you're a very smart man okay but uh, no really there's not much that goes bad in my life well okay <laughs> i know what you mean i know uh, yeah most of the bad shit is uh outside interference water yeah. food electricity all this shit that we're all trained to to be addicted to i think it was anti this morning that was commenting about his he's uh struggling with his or it might have been beetle his uh of his addictions smoking food you know all the shit that we're addicted to certain kind of crap that you buy at the grocery store <laughs> most of us have that junk food crap yeah something that you know but still we've we've survived it all these years it ain't going to kill me now I got one of those attitudes. It's going to kill me eventually, but not today. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> well, it's something's going to kill you this year. Well, what do you expect? How do you expect to go out? Jealous husband or a cop? No, neither. I neither? Expect- you, no, you don't I think expect- the cops are going to shoot you full of lead at the next time you're on a, you know, one of those no. anti-government things? I'm not anti-government. No, you're the out of the two of us. That's what I said before the show. I'm gonna kick your ass tonight because I'm gonna get, make a uh, <laughs> sanist out of you. We're, sanist, yeah. Out of us. We're gonna take you from statists oh. to sanist in 20 minutes. See now, that's or the big else. deal. <laughs> Anti-government yeah. title. It's yeah. almost probably as bad as anarchist, right? Well, it depends on on how you understand the words, I suppose. You know, because. Whether you vote or don't vote or any of that other shit doesn't really matter. Me and you are still, we associate. See, so all that, is, all that outside stuff is just stuff. I mean, it's just something to tease people about. It, I don't take it seriously. Well, this is how it's been flipped, though. See, the, the mm. government has become an entity instead of what government was supposed to A service, to be. yeah. It was supposed to serve you. Now right. you serve yeah. it. Yeah, it took I over. Know. Yeah. If you don't, guess what will happen? If you do not comply... It will back. slap you upside the bullet. <laughs> At the very end, what's the final solution? If you do not comply, you will... Die. Die. Yeah. You'll come down with cancer. Well, I, I think that might have... You know, they might have done that. I think, oh, Chavez, you know, he died of cancer. I think they might have poked him with an umbrella or something, you know. It Well, it doesn't matter when, when the food that we eat... If, if you... According to what I've been introduced to about the subject of what causes cancer, it's the food we eat. There you go. It's bad. Yeah, so I haven't really even taken any pictures of my little tire garden I built. Uh-oh. But, yeah, I've got, uh, I've got competing issues of deer and hmm. uh, rabbit and bugs, uh, but... I've kind of been sharing. At least I'm getting greens. I've got some green beans, peas. Uh, I got some little cilantro. My little carrots, they're not getting very big. I got some huge sunflowers growing. They're start fixing to start blooming. But you know what's really good is the radish pods. And it's oh. really, really important to eat raw greens. That's one of the, the best uh, health things that you can do. Uh, otherwise, I really eat a lot of junk food. See, yeah, it, I I know it's just a we have these horrible freaking habits, and they're okay personally, but we know better. I know better, but I still do them any damn way. To to go eat bigger. right, and healthy is really a full time job. You know, it's you got to really be aware. Like, yeah, sure. Not a pill, you know. You can't. It's not like a you know. You take a pill and it's all thick. Well, I suppose depending on how active and flexible you want to be at our age well we're you're a few years behind me but you're getting there and we're still in the overall we're not really all that old but to young folks to 30 year olds we're relics yeah and to you know what children I, I you know. with a handy 
handicap too with rheumatoid arthritis. Right. Well, mm, there was another thing I saw the other day about uh, a doctor had made a link. I've seen so many links. There are there's more cures for each problem than there is. Bad word. Huh? Okay. Well, maybe so. I'm not the FDA. I don't give a shit. I'm Correct. just saying. Well, whatever. I'm not trying. I'm not selling a product. I'm just saying there's more ways to to uh, correct to the do whatever you want in life. Then there, there's more choices than you know of. Is what I was getting at. Let me give you a good example. People say if a mm. lightning strikes a tree and you know rips a big gouge in it, it will never heal. It, it will compartmentalize. It will uh, seal around and, and encapsulate that damage. And uh, so. Just like we don't cure, get cured of something, we, we correct it. You know, it's uh, really sometimes the words are important. Well, okay, and then there's explanations too. You know, if you do this, if you take this product and ingest it, it creates an environment inside your system that you can't see or understand. It's just part of what happens. Right. It's and like the, I, and the, invading, I, the invading forces of cancer cannot survive it's like us surviving underwater without air we could not do this right apparently the can't stop the okay stuff. the writing tells me this is the 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 belief that i've leaned to is that the alkaline system does not produce it doesn't produce growth opportunity for the invading cancer there you go because we all carry it with us we've got the cells in our bodies to be attacked so what is it that attacks those cells and makes them active? The food we eat. There's no, or whatever we're breathing or drinking. There's no other way to get sick except by what you bring into your body. There you go. Well, they made, yeah, that's why cells have borders. Well, they make all this medical stuff sound so in, uh, in just important and serious. And you got to be so fucking smart to understand it. No, you don't. No, 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 no. That's that's a whole bunch of horse shit. Sell pills. Okay? <laughs> um, hmm. Give you an example. I'm coming home from the uh, grocery today. Went and got her, got her some yarn. Stopped had a beer. Said hey to my friends. Stopped at the grocery store. And on my way out, there's our, our Romanian guy that's the beggar. And he's got this uh, kind of a hanger-on guy. He's, uh, he's a alky drinks a lot and today i seen him and he was sitting alone and i said hey and he goes hey cool and we he understood that hey i knew something was up what's going on with you 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 all right and that's what, what he wanted somebody to notice him yeah that's the beggar that was uh his friend the danish kid he's well he's about cirque's age so i'm about 20 years older than than he is and he was like all hanging out with the blues and drinking by himself. No, he was. It wasn't even that. Com it was that less complicated. He was just the where he was sitting, and how he was sitting. I just knew he wanted well, somebody to say something to him, and people were not paying attention to him. So, <laughs> so I said, "Hey," and it made his day. He even come over. He goes, "Ah, this is what I needed somebody to to recognize me." How was his posture? He was like sitting there. Kind of, yeah, leaning on an arm. Oh, not okay. looking at people or nothing. Just kind of blah. And he's a real friendly, talkative guy. So I thought something was wrong. So I said, hey. And sometimes that's what people need is for you to recognize they're alive. And that's it. It's all they, it's all they want. Yeah. They don't really need more. That was their whole thing in the first place. So did he brighten up and smile? Yeah. Then, you know, we talked for a minute, and then I got to get my groceries home. Ah, have a good day. So he speaks English pretty well then. Oh, of course, Vinny. Everybody that speaks to me it speaks English to me. And the, oh, the Danish that I've, I'm getting, well, I get some of it, but not, not all of it. Sometimes they talk too fast. That always impedes my hearing performance when they're quick speakers like speak fast in english blah, 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 blah. what Spanish. that's a fast language well any language that you're not familiar in if they speak it too quickly you're not going to follow it that's the whole point 
So, eh. And besides, I've tried to tell people, I'm coming here to a bar, and the more I'm here, the more drunk I am. Talking isn't the point. <laughs> I'm not here to do that. <clears throat> you know, because my, whatever Danish I know, I'm, I'm when I'm drinking, fuck, I don't remember any of that anymore. <laughs> drinking. Change gears. Yeah. I got a guy I'm going to have to have a talk talking to. He's been driving a little bit fast, too fast down the road. Yeah, doesn't that piss you off? Well. Remember when it was you? Yeah. Yeah. Think how lucky you are that you never had a tire blow out or a rod break or something. You know, just boom. And there's a boy here down, just down the way there, and he's getting old enough. He might wander out into the road you know this country road. yeah yeah i saw a link today about weird accidents cars that flipped over hit something weird and next thing you got a three-car wreck on video people had just been can you know taking shots and shit happened in them and you, what you just brought up reminded me of wow the things i saw in that link truck accidents and helicopters crashing just out of nowhere boom didn't work Okay. Explosions. This is a, a huge planet. Last night, pretty low. Green, it probably uh, couldn't make it out for sure. But they fly. They used to fly helicopters out of the military around here a lot more often around the Kent uh, River bottoms and up around through the hollers. One crashed out oh, several years. Ago. Wow! I've never seen a helicopter crash with my own eyes. Man, it, I didn't see it, and uh, but I heard people that, that did see it. Uh, I heard it. It was loud. <laughs> Mom's surprised to find two-year-old's cake reads, Happy Birthday, Loser. <laughs> Sad. Grimner. Grimner's yeah. hitting the RLM yeah. chat with a little... Why would you do that? Accidents. I don't know. People that make cakes, maybe they can't read. Hey, what about that transgender fuck that, that's suing because they won't wax his balls? Is that cool? She is suing them because they won't wax her balls. I saw that. This is going to fucking court. And these people will do anything for money. Anything. Any lie, any story you can come up with, take it to court. You get paid for it. <laughs> this is stupid. They put it on there on purpose. Mm. Oh, they really did? Yeah, right. Wow. So, not like she knew that we were calling her a loser. Wow. Wow. Lo Oh, you'd be funny. What, did you mute? No? Oh. Am I muted? No. You didn't... You're being a funny guy. Anyway. That's just terrible. Think of the children. Fuck the children. They just parade them around and use them for money any damn way. Who, who gives a shit, really? When you think about it, okay? Like this pedophile shit. Rod, All the fucking time, day in and fucking day out now, for months. Pedophiles every fucking where. Okay, who are they? Not politics. All right, uh, 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 that's not the point. They got one name. Then they got Listen, Clinton. I, All I right, gotta go, I gotta go back here to a movie. Extreme Prejudice, Powers Booth, Nick Nolte, hmm? Maria Conchita Alonso. Uh, what, when was that movie? Way back in the uh, Rip Torn. Rip Torn says, "Why the only thing worse than a politician is a baby raper." <laughs> okay, still, where all this are you know all this links and all the time talking about it? Where are all these fucking pedophiles at? Turns out, uh, Rip Torn had it, but uh, they're actually all the same. So, all right, so you, what you're telling me is everybody is aware that the government, the people sitting in positions of power are pedophiles, and they're okay with this. It seems like it, ain't it? That's what I'm seeing. I just see Bill Clinton's name and some Epstein guy, another Jew, okay, some island, and not a fucking world. Oh, these people went to this island and this, that, and the other. All right, does that mean you're accusing them of being pedophiles too? I mean, it's very vague what I'm seeing. Yeah, it was probably you think that, that not everybody would have been one that went there. You know, he's got to surround himself with good people in order to be the uh, the creep in the middle, right? Exactly. 
Right. So, you know, it are just. You that if you agree with that, that you're saying that Hillary and Bill are good people. What Donald Trump? Oh, or God, wait a minute. Where did all that? Don't start putting words in my mouth that I never said. Okay, I'm just checking. If I'm saying, I what have I always I, I, fucking I, said about Hillary and and Bill and I, Donald? Listen, I knew what you would have to say about that, but you know, maybe. You know what I'd like to have? I'd like to have the video of Hill Dog and fucking Donald going at it, and I'll bet Bill was running the camera. You're sick. I'm a realist. I expect the absolute worst out of my fellow human beings. You know why? Because that's what I see to, seem to always see. The worst. CD. That fucking Trump come back praising the Queen of fucking England. Give me a break. Why? Why? Engl England. I think it's a bunch of shit. I think these people are all fucking telling us stories. You know what? Hmm. Very the word that I do not want to... I, I, it bothers me every time i use the word very i'm gonna very yeah very weak word okay because trump says it very, very <laughs> trump says it <laughs> are you being trumped oh you poor fucker you listen what somebody that stupid can become president hmm. i know he's a complete dolt absolutely nothing above his fucking neck except a bad wig and people praise him like he's done stuff. I'm just confused. I see these links all the freaking time. Oh, our president's done this. And, and I look at, what are you talking about? The economy's better. For who? Is the economy any better for you, Vinny? Uh, they didn't pass the minimum wage. <laughs> minimum wage. Uh, yeah, Congress ate it all up. Put on a hamburger, please. Well, and they're going to blame that on your $15 minimum wage instead of your $400,000 a year salary to sit and do fuck all and play golf. I don't even play golf. I mean, you think about the insanity of looking at this guy. He's on top of the pyramid, but yet he works all the time. No, he doesn't. That's what he has assistance for, you dumbass. This guy that you're looking at, that you're giving all this credit for work, he ain't doing shit. He's just collecting the biggest amount of money. And no, we're Trump. and we're trained we're trained to freaking worship this, Vinny. It makes me upset. Trump says Americans. Hmm? Trump says Americans are stupid. What does that say? Wow. Hmm. Well, there you go. And when did he say that? And to who? So they, the ones that voted for him. How about, how about them? Wait a minute. Now you're just fucking around with words. Because yeah. it's not about the people that voted for him. It, he he was he he didn't win the popular fucking vote. Come on, how could he? Well, it just all depends on how you count. You realize today that you can buy rates at 3.14% off? So, what what does that mean in English? How is that applicable to my personal moment? Well, to be on the square, mm. in the level, mm. you gotta round things out. Yeah. And? Oh, uh, so you're being all country bumpkin about some important topic. You're making my dog bark. And, uh... No, she's barking at somebody outside. Give her that. Give her the, uh, the phones. Man. The phones. No, 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 no. She's a dog. She wouldn't understand that in the first place. She understands English, right? But she wears a harness to get what about walked, American? so she she's not going to... What? Can she understand American? I don't know. You know, know. we don't speak English in America. Oh, I know that. Do you? But most people don't know that the bastardized language that we use today is—it's a whore's <laughs> language, is what it is. No, oh, it's a the, natural. No, 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 no. English has yeah. been bad. Wait, whoa! I disagree. You can tell me Thank no you. when I'm fucking done, yeah. pal. Hey, uh, 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 hey, no. Uh, uh, as make it a point based on my input, not yours. Wait, your turn. Wait, sit down and be quiet. Wait, wait. Uh, what I mean is, English is full of foreign words from other countries, okay? Now, 
Danish is not. Danish is Danish, period. English has got words from where? France, Greece, uh, everywhere. Oh. Yeah, you name it. We but you name it, we borrowed it. <laughs> it's a bastard language. Yeah, I bet it is that evolution. You couldn't speak. You wouldn't understand a word of English in the old days. Be- no, I have no idea what anyone was but saying. A few to me. Years yeah, ago, even yeah. a couple hundred. Yeah, years ago. I would say so. Yeah, and all this stuff that they've rewritten over the years, like the Declaration of Independence. You know that was rewritten from the original version of whatever it said in the beginning, it does not say today. Are you talking about the Constitution of yeah. the 13th? All of it. Because the English burned Washington to the ground in 1814, I think. Might have been 1812, but I'm pretty sure it was 14. When they actually, they raised it. Yeah. Now, what I read, let me finish. What I read was John Adams had copies of certain books blah 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 that weren't destroyed in the fires so they never said they saved the original declaration and in 1871 they changed a word or two so it changed the whole meaning of what it is Uh, i believe you're talking about the 13th amendment no i'm not talking about that the amendments to it i'm talking about it was originally supposed to be written the United States for America. And then over the course of time, it was rewritten to read the United States of America. And that one word of replacing the word for legally changes it in ways that we don't get explained. You have to be a lawyer to know what the words mean because they're speaking in legalese. Okay, here we go. What was the Declaration of Independence originally called? That might get me there. Yeah, check it out, man. But then you're going to get a modern day ex- example of what it, what they think it was, too. So, I just figure, from what I read about that, yeah, I'm convinced something's not right somewhere. Whatever it is, and it can't be anything more than we're being lied to. So if you're going to lie to me about one thing, fuck you. All of it. Uh, I believe I'm being... You believe you're being what? Boggled over here by Google. You're being boggled by Google? Yeah, yeah. Boggled. Is that a new word? Boggled. Hey, the FBI rocked by public suicide of top FBI agent who investigated... Clinton Foundation. <laughs> Thanks, Grimner. Big headlines on the RLM right now. I'm stalling for you while you're looking for your next link there, sport. Um, I'm not finding from uh, Google. Well, don't you find it kind of strange that average Joe, no. your average Joe that you meet, has no interest or knowledge of this topic nine out of ten times? Well, here's something declaring independence uh, drafting. Guess event. not. Yes. Jefferson's original rough draft mm. declaration of independence. Mm. Well, it ain't 420, but I'm lighting up anyway. Uh, I just did. Mm. When in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for a people to advance from that sub- subordination. I didn't say that word right. No, you so, didn't. Nation. Subordination? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. I need new glasses, I really do. I understand that. You should get some. In which they have hitherto remained, and to assume among the powers of the earth the equal and independent station to which the laws of nature and our own gods entitle them. A decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they declare the causes which impel them to the chart change. We hold these truths to be sacred and undeniable that all men are created equal, unless you was black then or Irish or anybody other colors and hues. See, yeah. uh, Right? But when did the black slaves get popular? The 60s. When they ran out of white white rights. Yeah. 
it was like a get him out of Africa. Well, Lyndon Johnson was pretty uh, open and vocal about getting the niggers to vote for Democrats forever, and that's the way he worded it. I'm repeating yep. what I heard from him, because uh -huh. you know people do not want to admit we're we're numbers on a screen. These fucking politicians don't care who you are. They just want numbers to get where they want to go. So that they can do all these illegal fucking things they do. Because nothing good comes from government. Nothing. Everything's a lie. And it's bad for you. And it makes somebody else better off than you. How do you support that? I don't get it. Well, if I could get you a coupon at 20% off, could you get it then? No. I would refuse the... Uh, nah, I still wouldn't understand it. I'm not smart enough to understand the allure of putting your hand in a thing you can't get your hand out of. It doesn't make sense to me. I'm not complicated like the rest of you people. I want to be comfortable in my life, not uh, not uncomfortable, <laughs> encaged and you know forced. I want to be comfortable. <laughs> Don't you prefer comfortable vents? I like to be comfortable. I sure do. Did you see this link about the FBI guy? Yeah, I was just... Well, not the link, but I was reading the headlines. Oh, you read it? Yeah. That's what I went and think. That's what I was saying. FBI rocked by public suicide. FBI agents on site and police instructed witnesses to delete any video and photographs of the event and cleared out the bar, according to reports. According to reports. See? Who knows? Likewise, FBI officials instructed Austin police to not release any details of the death to the media. Sources confirmed. See? More crap after the crap. Who knows? Witnesses at the nightclub were also told to stay offline and keep quiet about the shooting. Sources said. I, huh. I don't know. This whole thing could be another fraud for all I know. I don't trust America. Sal, Sal Cincinnati a former Wall Street broker who joined the FBI back in 2010. Mm. He died last week during a night out after <laughs> Guy Cheney was to say. Huh. Well, there's the quote. Um, Grimner put it up. The way of the Christian warrior, President Lyndon John B. Johnson once said, I'll have those niggers voting Democrat for the next 200 years. I was close, but I, I knew he was he was a nasty, racist prick when he was in office. And that's just the way he was. And you can't uh, you can't blame anybody for how they were brought up and what they were brought up to believe. You just have to live with it <laughs> or not. So Sal was 41. Very, very bright guy, says one FBI insider. Mm. Uh, but young guy, he really gets you in the gut, he says. Put in the out too. Always working hard. Very, very, very bright guy. We'll put this one in the notes then, right? The, uh, the put suicide. Yeah, I'll put that in there if I can copy it. Yeah, there it is. Some some of these things. Ooh, it's getting harder to copy and paste than it used to be. This is the FBI is not commented on since the cell. Uh, since yeah. okay, now here's the part that pisses me off in the first place. Then Somebody's says, talking, telling you what the FBI isn't saying. Doesn't that bother you at all that you're being instructed to pay attention to what's not being said by the people that aren't saying anything? What? It's a sin it, about sin sinelli. Oh, it's double talk and bullshit to keep you angry and stupid. And it works really good. Because... Johnson said that, like in the 60s. I'll have those niggers voting Democrat for the next wait, 200 wait. years. Here's, here's something that's being said. Look, according uh, to his resume, uh, he was a supervisory special agent in the FBI's complex financial crimes unit. Mm. So he came from Wall Street, right? Mm. So what does this say? They might, they might have pinched him, right? And uh, got him in there uh, working in for him. I don't know. How 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 do you trust anybody in this in this maze of crap that we're in? That's what I mean. You, you everybody always comes out dirty at some point. So why trust any of them? Why bother he, with any other shit? 
They don't get oh, it. And was, with two Ws, a detailer from the FBI to the Commodities Futures Trading Commission. Oh, Commodities uh, Futures. Anybody seen that? Uh, what was that movie? Uh, Trading Places, was it? No. Uh, about Wait. Yeah, about the um, rich guys betting on the poor guy. Uh-huh. Okay. They were betting on futures on the uh, the orange. In oh yeah, 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 yeah. And that on the side, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can, yeah, you can buy futures in oil and uh, soy and uh, the Bass Brothers. They, they, uh, they was into the futures market and, and uh, on into silver. They, they uh, cornered the, the silver, silver bears. Yeah. yeah. Wait, worked, what brothers yeah, was that? Right up next to their fence. Hmm. They had a big cute rose garden out there in the, uh, one of them old buildings, you know, with the thing over the top. Ugh. Yeah, it was right up against your fence here in Fort Worth, Texas. Well, what appeals to you about this government that you're so in love with? Well, um, I, I would say that generally hmm. most people are uh, have a, an idea of what's good in their heart. Hmm. Uh, fortunately, though, I, I believe the uh, system then corrupts and only promotes the corrupted uh, onto the top. It's not the cream... Yeah, it's the scum that rises. To <laughs> Sadly, huh? But we're we're taught to look up and smile. And I don't do that. You ever try to like drink out of old muddy hoof print and have some of that scum afloat? <laughs> no, but I've been outdoors where I know what you're talking about. No, there was bigger bodies of water than a footprint to drink out of. But I know what you mean. You got to move that layer of shit on the top to get to the drinkable water <laughs> did you hear that i don't know did you fart no it was a, a hickory nut fell oh roll the roof how would oh you're being invaded by uh hickory nuts for some reason uh well huh. it's not like we've been drought or anything but you know the uh this this hickory tree that normally makes big nice hickory nuts they're mm -hmm. all falling off really small like even less than half their regular wow. normal yeah so yeah. it's all and this they, help we get pal tell you yeah the blackberries they've uh not, they didn't produce very <laughs> but the raspberries that uh, i got uh, several messages of them oh they were so good yeah they were pretty fair yeah hey they you know what you you should what you should do is is get chuck to do a dork table with us we we'll yeah. try to get Mary on too, and then we'll all three of us. We'll spend the whole show trying to shut Chuck up. Huh? huh. That'll be a gas. No. All four of us talking at the same time like a bunch of wackadoodles. Because hey, the man knows his shit, and he's got some deep freaking uh, information, and it's embedded into him. He's got it all memorized, and, and once right. he gets started, hey, man, it stopping him is hard. Because he, he wants to tell that story. <laughs> he knows a shitload of them. Do you drink good water? Where's your water coming? Uh We've got tap water. It's it's drinkable. So they put half fluoride in there? No, there's what? no fluoride in Denmark. They what do you mean banned no fluoride, fluoride here a long time ago. Yeah, wait a minute. Huh? Google. I, I can't hear you. Th okay. Now what, Vinny? How do I report that to the FDA? Uh, what do you, I report? What are you fucking talking about? Fluoride. I'm going to type it in. I want to report. But fluoride is a good thing for you by law, you dumbass. They're not going to recognize that it's there's anything wrong. You're getting the legal limit. Stupid. What's wrong with you? Can't you read a fucking law? Oh, I so I want to report no fluoride in water. That's no fluoride in your water. Oh my God. Okay, I thought you were going to report fluoride in your water, which is I what they to. want. Well, yeah, but if you did it backwards, what would happen? Who would you call? Ghostbusters. Because I don't have any of mine either. It comes out of the ground. Right, because like, flor the fluoride they put into drinking water is not the fluoride they tell you they put in. It's worse. And it comes from China now. It used to come from Florida, but now the Chinese sell them a version of it for a better price. You know, they really try to get rid of that stuff. 
Well, that's one. because it's a chemical waste product from manufacturing. That's the form of fluoride that they use to add to the drinking water, but they tell you it's not. So there you go. Hey, here, here's an interesting uh, link in the, uh, what he called uh, that. That what would you call it? Normal people would say it'd be incredible. It comes from NBCNews.com. Hmm. So I mean, it's got to be true. Oh Science yeah. Science says fluoride water is good for kids. So why are these towns banning it? See, that's what I'm telling you is there's plenty of that nonsense on the Internet that tells you the exact opposite of the truth. October 17th to 2018 by Elizabeth Chuck. Uh-huh. I never heard Chuck as a last name. How Have you? Mm. I don't know. Never. First time in my life I've ever seen Chuck as a last name. Chuck. I thought you said stuck. Oh, Chuck. No, never heard it as last name till right now. You know what she says? Mm. It has been hailed by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention as one of the top public health achievements of the 20th century. And that's a bunch of shit. It's a byproduct of fucking waste in a manufacturing process. But fluoride, the naturally occurring compound. That's a different story. The natural occurring compound is not what they're using to add into the water. That's why when they add it to the water, they got to wear hazmat suits. They can't handle this shit barehanded in quantity because it will fuck them up. But it's, enough, but it's okay to put it in your drinking water. Sir, do you know there's a name for people like you? Uh-huh. Anti-fluoridationists. Mm. How nice. Uh, I know. I, the list of things I'm against is bigger than the list I'm, I'm for. You know what they say? It lowers IQ. It yes. Causes everything yeah. from acting yeah. to anemia to yeah. uh, Alzheimer's. Uh-huh. Yeah, I've done a little bit of reading about this for you. A few topics. The things I'm really sold on, I've read about them. I've talked to people, saw shit. I'm convinced. Now, being right or wrong is all relative to the person. It's an individual thing. Now, if you live in a society... You don't have a fucking choice. Your government chooses for you. <laughs> there you go. Listen, I'm going to tell you this right here. What? What the say. The frets over fluoride are reminiscent of the unfounded fear that f- vaccine uh, cause autism. Right. So, and for all the people that get paid off because it does, <laughs> you know, whatever. Take your chances in life. You know, that's what I say. Proof by science. Did you know what my number one rule in life is that I live by to this very minute? What? Do what you can live with. If I feel bad about something I do, I don't want to do that. Because it makes me feel bad. Not you. I don't give a shit about most people. I'm concerned about me. Right? So I got this idea in my head that if I'm doing something that makes me feel good, chances are I'm not going to hurt you doing it. There you go. Johnny Johnson says that you might be a cultist or cult like. Well, I've got a, I've got my wife and my dog and my cat in my cult. Huh? I got four. That's four right. of us, That's man. Right. That's right. And that was cool, and he never said a mumbling word. Dr. Cooper? Nah, he just lays there and purrs. I'll put my Dr. Johnny Johnson against your Dr. Cooper any day, sir. Really? Oh, well, what is it, some kind of a competition? Yeah. Well, it's not what are they going to do? Because he's a cat. You can't tell a cat what to do. Cats tell you what they're going to do. And then you go, okay, cat. Or they scratch your face off. <laughs> so they say some argue that the government uses fluoride as a form of mind control. Did they use that in Nazi Germany? No, see, the, all right, all right, wait, wait, slow down. And just the concept... With both sides of the story given equally, gives you a split decision. You're going to have people that lean one way or the other. There's always going to be a divide there because there's two fucking choices. Instead of just the truth, if it was just stated, period, this is exactly the truth, and we all could look at it and see it as the truth, that would save us. But we have these... People, these wordsmiths in legal departments that figure out ways to fuck us 
with the very information that will save us. <laughs> words. Well, here they, they throw these words out here. They say that uh, people like you spread the word on Facebook. Like uh, New York State Coalition, uh, Coalition opposed to fluoridation. I haven't been on Facebook in four years. Well, it's your fault. Then. Oh, yeah, so, probably. Yeah. Like, so I'm they me. blame fluoride for problems, including thyroid damage. <laughs> and we planned in 2012 for falsely claiming that the federal government recommends avoiding fluorinated water when making infant fluoride. The CD says it's fine to use fluorinated tap water for formula, though the agency notes it may cause mild spotting on babies. <laughs> See? <laughs> Parents get low fluoride bottled water some of the time. Wow. Yeah. See, they just do everything wrong. They teach us everything wrong. What raised me and you know got me through my childhood uh, was frowned upon by the time I was old enough to reproduce. The laws, man. It's all these word games these liars play with us. Liars, liars. Yeah, Based. fuck. Name something that's true. Something, anything that is not based on bullshit. I can't think of anything. Reddit users claim that fluoride kills gut bacteria. <laughs> and again, there's how many different kinds of fluoride are there. They're not defining the type they're using properly. They're playing, playing the stupid card on the stupid people. Well, and it works. On Twitter, on Twitter, fluoride is regularly called a cancer cause. Of <laughs> <laughs> hey. I can tell you this, the anti-fluoride movement has made headway offline. You know what? You just gave me a great... Here's the title of the show today. Good. I'm going to type it on... Whoops. I'm going to type it on the RLM for your approval. <laughs> Perusal. Anyway. Wow. Like, we don't have enough of these, huh? I'll go look. The first place in America to receive fluorinated water was in Grand Rapids, Michigan in 1945. So we got Flint. That's not far from Grand Rapids, is it? No. And, and the people in Flint got let off the hook like last yeah. week. Yeah, nine people were going to be charged and the Justice Department dropped the fucking charges on them. So, no, you can poison your population and get... Uh, get paid forever to uh, you know your retirement and your medical and all that these people are fucked they need to be stopped and we live among a bunch of voters that support it what what are you supposed to do when it's like that no, what no. what can you do can you imagine living in a city and not having a clue about anything that was real you just believed all the bullshit <laughs> wow and there's millions and millions of them and they make good, right. yeah. They got good jobs, positions in society, and they're all dumber and shit. Well, I think we need more problems. That's what I said. That was with. I'm going to name the show. We need more problems because problems bring answers. I am. <laughs> no, we. You know what? I I don't think we need more problems. You know what? I think we need more answers. The truth. More questions. No, I think just. The truth about any given topic would just set you in a different wavelength. You know, when you're open to the answers, it makes it easier for everybody. And when you're in denial, of, oh, that's a bunch of, like the fluoride thing. If you're on the fluoride is good for you team, you're going to be repellent against me and my kind. Well, you know, sometimes you might assume to be speaking the same language, but then that accent comes in and, and miss uh, interpretation and and then hearing what you expect to be hearing you know if uh, somebody <laughs> yeah. So yeah that's the way society works people are are set in these uh, uh ideological groups uh, yeah groups the, that's what i've been saying for years Vinny. come on we're split up in so, so many little groups if you're a club-footed lesbian with a lisp there's a fucking group for you you know there's a guy that's trying to sue because the women won't shave his balls, but he's claiming to be a female. Well, how does a woman have balls to shave in the first place? So they're going to make this a legal question, not a real question, not something that's sensible. Let's make it legal so everybody can make money. 
And that's where we are. We've been here for ever since I was alive. That's how it's done. Wheels and deals and games and... Uh, does anybody just freaking take a walk? <laughs> Never mind. Give me one good disaster or let me make one, says And Well Then. <laughs> That's the chaos theory. You know what I really don't like, Vince? What is it? The, the negative uh, connection that anarchy has to uh, violence when anarchists are <laughs> basically... Nonviolent people that don't don't do much more than talk. We have opinions. We don't seem to go around beating people up with sticks and shooting them or anything. We just don't agree with society. <laughs> and that not agreeing with society can bring you lots of inconvenience. Let's call it that, shall we? What shall we do? I, I could always... As my good friend Hank to explain things to you. That just gets Grammy. Anyway, uh, hmm. so you still never really did explain to me why you're so in love with this uh, system that you're in, the one you participate in, the legal thing, and the the Bundy thing, and all that shit that me. I avoid on purpose would never in a million years bother to do any of that shit and here you are right in the middle of it all <laughs> my ra my radio partner is like the opposite of me <laughs> it's weird and I don't disagree with what you do I'm just saying I I don't I don't have that kind of interest in people or the world or whatever you're interested in I don't have that so I avoid it. Oh, there it is. Vinny vociferous. <laughs> vociferous. Yeah. Okay. Voice. Adjective. It's ah. made or marked by noisy and vehement outcry. Hmm. I think that. So, so well, okay, but what's the attraction to all that state and legal shit to you that makes you play in it? Well, um, it, it, uh, it I, I can only say it, it's it was I was called to it. I don't know. That's the best way. Well, I, could, I guess. Do you, well, okay. Yeah, well, you called. understand the bar association, legalese, all these little things, right? All these details, and your participating in it seems to put you in a different area of it to me, because yeah. you got hands-on physical experience in court at that level, and it's like, wow, <laughs> that's some big shit, but. Why? I see I'm, so little good coming of it from it today. 20 years from now, this is going to be a thing in history. You'll, you'll probably be a famous guy someday. But right now, you're just a, a, a blip on the screen. An yeah. inconvenience because you got in the government's way a little bit and said, said some things to a few people they didn't want you to, to talk about. Yeah, I'd have done that to several people. Okay, what drives you to be in the public eye at that level to actually do that? I'm well, a I'm a radio guy. This radio thing is just fun. I'm having a good time. But to go in front of the system and tell them what I fucking think about them, I'd figure I'd get killed on the way out the building, so I wouldn't want to do it in the first place. It's something I told uh, in response, and Maxine... Bernstein, the Oregonian, uh, I mentioned her in there. It said, I said, it's, uh, I was a there kind of thing, right? Mm -hmm. I was there. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I have the right to ask for an honest response from media. Mm -hmm. They have a, a, a responsibility and accountability. And I believe that uh, I was there to, uh, to bring that to bear and to hold them to account. Oh, and okay. To point out where they fail their duty. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, so like I'm in Denmark to complete this couple thing that I'm involved in. There you go. That's why I'm here, because of Cirque. Simple as that. And all this extra stuff that comes along with it, I never thought about any of that because I was just about Cirque, and still am. But the longer I'm here, the more people 
want to help me make my stay more comfortable. And I'm starting to take them seriously because I'm getting that five years I've been here. I'll probably, this is probably where I'm going to be till the end of my days. So I'm getting comfortable enough to want to learn Danish a little bit. At least to understand it so I could say yes or no. But to speak it, I don't know if I'd ever be, that's pretty harsh. It's a tricky I, language. I've been Vinny Vosivorous before. Yeah, so? Yeah. What's well, that I'm, got to do with the price of shit in shithole Olia? Well, go back to the definition of vociferous. Why? I was still trying to figure out what what the uh, you got a calling in your head or something, but what would make you go through all that? Because to me, it sounds painful and uh, something you endure, going to court and dealing with. Lying fucking cops and shitty fucking politicians and show. I would be beside. I couldn't stand being in the fucking building. Because I was a witness and a, a judge and an advocate. And uh, I witnessed for uh, Josh Martinez when they were kicking him out of the federal courthouse for the second time. Hmm. And the, uh, the U.S. Marshal accused me of uh, interfering. Hmm. Uh, obstructing I think was its word and I raised my hands and took a step back I said I'm a witness I rode out in the elevator with well you know so you're basically just standing your ground in a fight that you're in and you're willing to deal with whatever I'm happens in the fight. I'm a, there as an observer and a reporter and to uh, to give them notice that I am there as witness and to hold them to account. But how would other people be able to view you as neutral with their own preconceived notions about what well, people they, do they, writing stories about shit that happens? Yeah, they don't. Ch yeah, Channel 3, when they interviewed me, they said, Bundy supporter, Vincent Easley. But yeah, I support the Bundys. So, but, yeah. It's like give you a title. See, it kind of limits the person that's listening's little box that they're going to listen in. Right. Exactly. Yeah. They guide you down a certain road to hear a word a certain way. Well, that doesn't work on every freaking one of us, but it works on me enough to avoid that. I see it as torture at this point in my life to be around those kind of people. No, no. I don't care if it benefits me to do it. I don't want to do it. So. How do you think uh, Judge Dredd is listening right now? Oh, I don't give a shit if he's listening or not. Type now. In there. Now what? No, I don't yep. tell me what to do, boss. Don't hey. embarrass me in front of all your friends and push me around me and make me to do stuff. Don't I don't. Don't. When you're not gonna listen to what I tell don't, you. Don't whip on old Jason. Anyway. Do it. No, I ain't gonna do it. But I'll. I I do really mean that though. I I wouldn't. In a million years, do what you're, what you've done, and what you're probably going to do in the future some more. Because well, I don't have a dog. Well, yeah, because uh, looking at the wow, does the selection come up this year or next year? So twenty. So now 20 they're just advertising for November of 2020, almost right? Almost the whole year of 2020. Oh, it's going to be terrible. It's going to well, be Trump. Ads and you think you're going to go to war with Iran? Yeah, but probably not. Wow. Until, not until after Trump is reelected. Okay, they're going to. How are they going to string this out for that long, though? This has been going on for years. Yeah, but look, yeah, you just put something in the middle, fill in. Yeah, it's like putting uh, uh, fluoride in. in uh, <laughs> Take on Cuba in the meantime, or something small. No, yeah. no, no. We'll just go make mother rash. Accusations and stuff like that. Well, we can but, make up brand new threats. See, who knows who is doing what they're doing, but things are supposedly happening, right? Like the English have supposed to have had a, the Iranians boarded one of their ships and blah 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 them or whatever. No violence, just interference. So if we're being report, you know, we're getting reports from these <laughs> voices. Like the shit you read in the first place. And it doesn't really mean anything. and It's all up to the person listening. All I heard was a fart and windstorm. <laughs> See what I mean? 
Because if you tell the 10 people the same exact story and ask them to repeat what they heard, they're going to tell 10 different stories because that's the way we do it. And we don't learn God damn video equipment, and cameras and all this shit. And we're still dependent on secondhand news. So, hmm. Who's being, well, f- you know, who's being fucked and how? That's why I followed the steps of others. There, there are some really great and fantastic folks that uh, that went down there. They gave up, um, but not to mention those, especially the folks that were actually uh, being held within the court system. Uh, but talking about those people that went to report and make sure that the uh, the uh, reports were true. Maxine Bernstein, I gave her the highest credit as the best reporter out of the whole bunch there. At the Bunkerville uh, Bundy Ranch trial. Well, oh, Vinny, why? What, wait, wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. But what brought her there from where she started at is such a biased. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Parrot, uh, and her writing style changed to be less of her own self uh, interjected into uh. the story, or less of her own ideas. But that came from Kelly Stewart going up into her face. Hmm. You know, so she's a she's a big hero, Kelly Stewart, because Maxine would not be the woman and, and the writer that she is today were it not for Kelly Stewart. John Lamb, uh, uh, Andrea Parker, Eric Parker's wife, um, Mo, Sergeant Mo, Maureen Peltier. Uh, there, there's a lot of people that went there and they dedicated David, David Fleeman carried the signs up every day, every day. And set up the banners and all that stuff uh, for people passing by to know what was going on. You know, if it had not been for the people like that, the Bundys would be uh, the rest of their life. <laughs> they're lucky they, they didn't get killed, is what it, they're lucky. <clears throat> yeah, they were meant to be killed. I know that. I saw Waco them. on TV. Okay, I've they read. Would've... I've read enough about the FBI over the years to know that you don't want to fuck with the FBI. Or the ATF, or the CIA, or the BBC, <laughs> any of those Alfie Bet Soup agencies. And do you know how few people understand? I mean, they might not even know the words, but they don't understand. All of these government agencies are individual for profit agencies. They don't work. They work. They're subcontractors. That they're not government. The government hires them out. <laughs> they're like whores. You know, there you go. That's kind of like what how I see the police and the military. They're like hookers, you know. They'll instead of sucking a dick, they'll shoot somebody for money. You know, well, the hooker doesn't kill anyone, so I'm gonna go with I'm anti-war, <laughs> not anti-hooker. So yeah, the two cops down around New Orleans, mm. they were fired, posted about a crazy o. That she needs a bullet. Really? Yeah. But if they actually would have killed somebody and then said, ah, yeah, he was resisting, uh, what, they wouldn't even hurt her. Doesn't that seem a, just a little too working in your benefit for it to be real? Hmm. You know how the stage shit always makes you feel a certain way about it, depending on the group you belong to? Like, uh, I seen a new freaking released video about the missile object that seemed to hit the Pentagon. Not a plane. It, the film I saw, whew, that was no plane. There was no plane. No, but I'd never seen this particular link before. It had never been made available, so I opened it to see, and I went, wow, <laughs> I never saw that. Then a couple of days after that, they're, they're uh, re and. They're reintroducing the cab driver guy with the pole in his car. And he's claiming that back at the time that that was all staged. So here we are 20 years later. It doesn't matter. If you if you love Israel and you're all for that shit, then you, you're clueless. You're never going to get it. And you have a doll now that was, you know, not even born then. What, I got a what? Adults. 18, 20 oh, year old. yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, I mean, if it's all it's about is just pumping up the Jews. And the Jews are the ones responsible. 
And if you look back in any war, any part of history ever, you'll always find that whoever started it blamed the other guy. <laughs> the other guy didn't do shit. It's like a bar fight. It ain't no difference. The guy that gets punched is always the one that gets grabbed first. There you go, Mike. We'll give you one you can click on. I don't know why the uh, when it post in there, it doesn't open right. Whoa, the FBI rocked by public suicide got reposted by Vinny Bociferous. Vinny Bociferous. Yeah. What a thing. I mean, the, these are the accomplishments of the modern day. FBI failure, <laughs> government failure, everything's a fucking failure. And yet you have these dumbasses running around make, making America great again when it's probably now in worse shape than it was when I left it. And when I left it, it was ooh, looking pretty rough. I was going for Vosifus. Nah, uh, you're still playing with your name. I'm done with your name. I was getting off. I was getting on to other topics, Mr. Vincenzo. We're still doing a show here, sort of. Mike did it. Mike, blame. blame Mike. Yeah, Salt Lake City. Yeah, he's yeah. got that Utah thing going on. Been up there, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. A couple adult. times. Adult. That's perfect. Grimner says adult as an adult. Uh 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 uh. Yeah, I've been I've been a lot of places. I, I lived I, a lot of places too, though. What Where, was you doing in Salt Lake City? Passing through mostly. I didn't spend any real length and lengthy amount of time. It's just like a stop off point on my way to California. Yeah, Might get stuck there for California, the night or something. California, here I come. Well, I used to like to hitchhike from one side of the country to the other. Sometimes I'd use eighty, sometimes I'd use ten, twenty. Depending, you know. My mood. You know what I you know what I sing every single time. Forty. I go through- into Arizona, yes, across I forty. Yeah, I loved forty. Forty was great, except in the winter time, too cold. You can get I, really cold in that snow. <laughs> I've been across there. I can't tell you how many times. Mm. Many, 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 many times back and forth. Yeah. Well, I've got you know the internet I now. Every time I go through Winslow. Ah. Okay. What? Come on, you know the answer. To that. No. Standing on a corner. <laughs> I know. Well, go ahead. Yeah, such a fun. I got to read your mind or what? Yes, sir. It would help. Hmm. Uh, I see what I don't see. Anyway, so where were we? What were what we that? arguing I, about? On the hands. He's not even Judge Dredd. Is not even listening. Who cares? I do. Hey, slap him. From, I'll do it. Yeah. No, Mike finally found it. We, his text just came up for it's his fault. <laughs> yeah. We blame Mike. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. What What are we going to do now? Now we've blamed Mike. That's pretty weak, Vanna White. A launch is a direction. A fire extinguisher in his general direction? Come on. No, that's kind of like um, Monty Python ish. Yeah. I like the rusty with a rusty nail. Wow, is that Rob? Yeah. Wow, people are cruel. What do they do to me when I'm not paying attention? Oh no. Can't tell you that. Hmm. Yeah, way too many Jews overpopulated by leeches. Well, the sad thing about all this crap, and this is what I've are you come. Jew? Uh, this is what the decision I've come to over the years, right? Because I give this a lot of thought. 10, 15 minutes at least. And I've decided that it doesn't fucking matter which gang you claim. It's that you claim a gang. And if you refuse to claim a gang, a gang will be assigned to you by your direct peers in the society that you participate in. So it's a, it's a, it's a loser. It's a loser. If you're living free and outside of the system, then you're a boom, period. Anywhere you go, there you, yeah, there you, you have, have it. So you, to survive in society, whether you physically do everything to par or not, you've got to give them the illusion that you're going along with everything in the society, that you don't have any physical qualms. I'm not going to 
I'm not demanding that everything be this way. You're going with it. And that's how you survive it. And just the one I'm in is a lot less uh, restrictive than Copenhagen was, say. And Copenhagen was pretty free. But there was a lot of people. So the more people there are, the more opportunity there is for something to go horribly wrong and need the police to intervene in your fucking business because people are idiots in groups. I have spoken. I lost Vinny. Okay. I will school you all on the truth about political parties. Ladies and gentlemen, on this 23rd of July, 20 and 19, on In a Perfect World, you are going to hear the truth about political parties. And the truth is very simple. There's no such thing as a political fucking party. There's no such thing as a Democrat. No such thing as a Republican or a Communist or none of that shit. Or an anarchist. Or These are labels that other people give us so when they're talking on the radio they can identify you. <laughs> it doesn't doesn't mean anything unless it means something to you and I don't I don't know I don't think it matters to me <laughs> the results of what happens now that matters but the players involved ah eh. now nah, we're going to get screwed every time just trust the guy in the suit with the wife in the dress and the little kids and you will not understand what I understand <laughs> It doesn't matter what people look like or how they dress or what clothes they wear. Real true power and control is so subversive. It's done underneath everything else. It's, but you're told this is freedom. And then when you decipher your book of freedom, you find out that <laughs> no, it's not. That That's a book of chains. And the chains that were originally written were for you, Mr. Politician. And somehow, there's so many of us alive today at one time, they've convinced us that we need them to decide for us. Are you back? No, no I've been here. Oh. I was stalling until you got back. But they've, no, they've decided I... for us. And these results that we have today are from trusting blindly the political parties and then if you go against them they'll fucking kill you so good luck have a nice life good night everybody see you next week <laughs> what i've got a real problem with uh ocasio working that hot dog on a stick because everybody knows that's a corn dog oh right yeah how that. can you put a hot dog on a stick i mean slowly well, I mean, if you're going to eat it with a bun and relish and all that stuff. Well, I think that the, the bulk of why they're giving this poor little woman so much crap is because, one, she's way the fuck out there in the left wing, sure. But the other side of it is a lot of what she's saying about the problem is true. The Congress is fucking... These people are out of control. This needs to be abandoned, but... <laughs> who's going to listen to me say that? And then they're going to, well, replace it with what? Don't. Don't replace it. Get small. That's how, that's how, the, whatever's left of this whole nightmare when it's over with, all this global shit and these idiots with their EU and their Americas and their Englands and their, you know, all these countries. It's, it's too big to manage at the point it's at now. So there's nowhere really for it to go except back down <laughs> where it started. Is Cockney a country? Is Cockney? No, Cockney is a slang. It's uh, They called them the East Enders Cockneys. My mother was a Cockney. She was born in Whitechapel in London in 1942. Can you speak a co Cockneys? No, 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 no. I'm way too American to have the English that English voice, a real, Eng I don't have the real one, but when I do my voices, maybe one of these times I'll do an English, and may, well, I'll catch you off guard when you're not expecting it, so you'll be able to hear it then. Can you say, oi, oi, oi? No. Mm -mm. Why would I? 
don't know. That's what they say. You've been know. watching that AOC girl too much, and you're getting distracted, sport. Hey, no. I didn't post it. Back, back to the damn In a Perfect World podcast with you. Now, sir, return at once. <laughs> Join the conversation, you big lug. All right. There you are. I was I was straying. I guess I uh, hmm. ran Rob off. Did you? Oh, well, that happens. Sometimes Rob gets other shit happening, too. You got to remember, people do have lives in the summertime. In the wintertime, we got them captive because they don't want to be outside in the cold. But summertime, so. Hmm. Have you ever sat on the porch and whittled? No, I'm not a whittler. I'm really not a porch sitter either. I like to build fires and fuck with the plants when I go outside. Uh, sitting idle, playing with a knife, no. Thank you. Are you eating anything out from outside? Did yeah. You- oh, yeah. The tomatoes are coming along. She'll have red tomatoes soon. They're green now. Some of them. Not all of them. They're growing. At, I got you know, one different. tomato about the size of a thumbnail right now. Ah. Yeah. No, nah, there's a shitload of flowers, and uh, there's some green ones on the bottom I saw. So I'm having a real problem with pollination, it seems. A lot of these Bees, plants yeah, flower, yeah. and uh, they seem not to, they, the, the, uh, the flower seems to, you know, not develop into the fruit. Uh-oh. Squash and other things. I got some squash bugs in there. I need to get this uh, fungus. Uh, Don't you have any beekeepers around where you live? There's plenty of, man, the uh, sumac was like, it was like covered in bees when they were in bloom. Hmm. You would think that there would be uh, bees since they're out of bloom looking for more, but yeah, surprisingly. Before the, before the show, I had a, a bee fly in the house and get stuck in a window I didn't open. So I had to hmm. figure out a way to open the window where the bee was without getting him pissed off and trying to you know protect himself from me and let him out. Just get you a glass and a piece of paper. No, no, I open the window. It opens out. But it was just tricky getting around the bee, a live bee. I didn't want him to think I was attacking him. I wanted They're to not. open the window so I could brush him out because he's a They're bee. Not sting you. Well, they, when, when they sting you, they die. See? Yeah. So it's not the, it's not the, <laughs> I'm worried about the freaking bee in the long run, not me. I've been stung before. It's not the point. I've, I was. They're not, they're not likely to sting you. No, no. But I still, my goal was to open the window and let the little guy go out and pollinate something. It made friends with I watch him do that on the plant sometimes. It's kind of weird. I wonder what that's about. You ever do that? Stand there and watch the bee go from one flower to the next? It's an interesting procedure. Yeah. And they, sometimes uh, they got ones that are out getting the pollen and then other ones that are out collecting nectar. See, I don't, I'm not that detailed on what the process is with a bee's life. I just know that they fly to a flower and they do shit. And then they go somewhere else and they do some other shit. And then you go to the store and you buy some honey. <laughs> I'm, I'm from California, remember? Yeah. No, Grimner, a cockney is is not when you, your cock is long enough to slap your knee. That it, cockney is a, a slang for a, a particular area in London. The people, it was the accent they had, so they called them that. And I happen to have come from that. My mother comes from that line. Her father Why was English. Yeah. Huh? Why did they call them that? You said. I don't know why they call them. I just know they did. That was the title, that, that the name that they were given. What the fuck? Why are you called an Arkansanite? Or That's whatever stupid. you are. Yeah, even to say Arkansan. They just say Arkansas. You're... Okay, there you go. I, well, there's 50 fucking states, pal. What well, do you think I know what every little nickname is? <laughs> just because I got Google doesn't mean I use it. <laughs> no, I just Google me. I've got See, Cockney. I've uh, got accent cockney rang rhyming slang mm-hmm. cock dog and bone and cockney yeah. versus zombies. which one yeah. shall i push uh anyone You're you t- want but uh the thing about that cockney slang was to keep the police off their back there was a lot of crime in london in the east end in the the days when my mom was young oh it's a movie <laughs> they had a, a couple of brothers that the cray brothers and they pretty much were in charge of all the gang activity and in the east end of London. 
Like and then all that fast. all that's changed now, and now it's all Muslims and mosques. And I got to see London before it, it turned into the whatever it is now. It's horrid. Ooh, I would never ever go back there again. You think the Muslims will change in the environment, or will they change the environment to Muslims? Yeah, they'll be. They'll change the environment. Yeah, you can't change. You can't change religious fanatics of any, any kind of group. That look at what the fucking Jews are doing to all of us. The fucking same, all of us. And they got us mad at the fucking Muslims. Are you... Come on. It, it's so obvious to me. What's obvious to me is not obvious to other people that this is... <laughs> this whole game is being played at all of us equally. We're all breathing the same fucking air and drinking the same water. <clears throat> Some people stake in it is just... They play in different levels of life. We're, we're into the day. These other people are playing in blocks of 20 years. Their families are going to inherit what they have. And they're going to be in control tomorrow as they were yesterday. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was looking on YouTube for the <laughs> Cockney <laughs> zombies. <now. laughs> I, I think you might be able to watch it out in pieces and parts. But hmm. <laughs> I'm glad you're what, amused. This is what has me laughing. I'm going to... I'm going to go get it and copy it over here. This one's for Grimner. That's exactly what I said, though. The native of the East End of London, because my mother was a cockney. My grandmother. This is something else. This <sighs> but my grandfather was from somewhere else. He was English, but not from uh, not from London, I don't think. I have to check on him someday. This is an epic pictures group. I'm not opening up all this crap you're talking about, mister. I got enough problems on this internet. Not, if you're not listening live and in the chat room, which is truncated, can you miss it? Shh. Nobody say what it is. And the reason that the melting pot is not working is because what's changed, I believe, is when you're when you move to another place, like I've done, the uh, the people that you live among expect you to respect their shit. And sometimes it, it goes beyond speaking the same language, but it's a good place to take it out on somebody. See, if I had done something physically to somebody else, then my lack of Danish would be an issue. But as long as it's just, nah, be, these people know, man. It's not the easiest fucking language to understand. So that's not a, it's not a good foundation for an argument as it is where I'm from. And even on well then, the U.S. is a fraud everywhere at some level. That's the whole point of what I do the radio for. We're all being screwed, all of us. I, we'll, we'll never know what we were born to know if we seek our answers from the available sources, government, education, religion. They will enslave you. Yeah, you're all slaves. And that's what we are. And... Hmm. What I've tried to do is make the best of knowing that, you know, okay, so I'm a slave to a system. Okay, but I'm not uh, being held against my will. I'm willing to do the things that I do. So I don't feel as negative about it all as I would if I was being held against my will. Whose will? Mine. <laughs> Smart ass. My own, you butt nugget. <laughs> I got, I got a will. Don't you have a will, sir? Have you I ever, saw. have you ever watched those links the, from, I forget Canada. I can't think of the guy's name, but he broke down the the living will into legal terms and explained what all the oh. words mean. Oh man. He's from Canada. Yeah, I forget. I forget his name. I got so many links I've seen over the years, and a lot of some of. I don't know if it was Mark Stevens. Stevens, I'm familiar with though. What was it? What's his first name? He did show it. Mark PCY. Stevens was. No, I don't. I don't remember. But it was a Canadian guy that did the, and he went up. We had a, a white grease board, and he wrote down the about the living will. I'll find it. You know, I'll give it to you some other time. We're doing a live show. I don't do research while I'm talking very well. 
So I'll pass on looking for it. But uh, I guess the point I was trying to get to is when when you have a layman's understanding of how we live, the truth will just knock you on your butt. What what the system is legally done to us using words is it's beyond disgusting. I I, I don't even know what to call it. It's so fucking wrong. Uh, and here we are, you know, we go to school and we go to public education and they teach us the exact opposite of the fucking legal truth that we live in. <laughs> so you grow up a complete dumbass. Thumb, thumb, thumb. It's the goal, putty, man. If we if we weren't stupid, we wouldn't put up as a collective. We wouldn't tolerate this shit for 20 minutes, but we can't fight it because nobody wants to fight it. They want it. They love this electronic life and the instant everything. Now, I'd give it up. Given a choice, do this and have a clean life or do this and live quick and have everything instant. I'd go the slow route at this point in life. Let's but it's, it's not, a, it's not a, uh, a choice on the table, though, Vinny. Not a choice. No. So, Grimner, if you use this... Uh Cubby or Tubi? What do you call this here? This uh, I've never clicked on it. I haven't seen that here recently for the first time. Tubby Tubi. Tubi. Okay, what in a, what are you talking about? It's a TubbyTV.com movies. Oh, that. Okay, watch Zombievers 2014 full free online on Tubi. Free streaming movies. Yeah. Cool. Oh, hell yeah. And uh, hey, it's begging time. Beg for some money from the people that listen to us do our crazy show. Hey, yeah, how about that? If you're a, if you're part of Real Liberty Media right here, uh, consider a, a donation one time or a monthly or weekly. Not week, weekly, but <laughs> strong commitment to uh, put a little penny in the bucket now and then. No, it just you know takes the stress off of Grim so he doesn't have to support it by himself. Because we right. all use it. Yeah, we, yeah go. we got stuff that comes up, you know, that, you know, needs some, uh, paying servers and that sort of thing. Well, you know, some people's contribution to a situation is funding. That's what they do. And some people's contribution is like me. I participate. I do stuff. I'm active. I'm willing to learn. Even though I learn so poorly, at least I'm willing to give it a shot. And look like a dumbass when I can't do it right the first time, but I keep trying until I figure it out. <laughs> yeah, this internet stuff, man, it's just not, I'm not wired for it. Are you? you? You've you learned, though. You've handled it. Well, no, you still get Grim to help you with a lot of shit. Maybe not. <laughs> I might be giving you too much credit. I believe, I believe so. What is anti? The earth, anti says, the earth wants you and it ain't taking no for an answer. Enjoy another fraud. That's right. Yeah, Mother Earth. You know, there's, that's what I mean. There's this things that we're, we're, we're taught to mock, for example, and make fun of because they're old and they're worn out and they're, you know, no, let's replace all that old shit with this new improved shit. And the new improved shit is really garbage. And the old way is really the way that works. Like you were talking about vegetables in the beginning of the show. You know, the things that we've evolved into are definitely unnatural. <laughs> we are fighting against nature. And we're surviving, but for how long? <laughs> I mean, how many more years can I keep going at this life thing before the, you know, the shit that I'm eating and whatnot just totally destroys what there is yeah, it'll be over before you know it mm. for sure yeah no yeah hey, don't rub it in i'm i'll start to feel like an old guy but i mean you know everything decays so Ain't that really meaning though it'll be over before you know it well i, I take it lightly i'm not i'm not real worried about all that anyway it's gonna ha whatever happens in life it's just another event to me i don't know I, I don't but judge life like other people do. No matter when it happens, you're not really going to be aware of it. From well, just like going out with Dennis the other night and just trusting my thing that I'm not going to get killed doing what I'm doing. 
I survive. We could write a song about that for you. Well, because well, I was so drunk the other night that I was in that drunk where if I get a hold of a gun, I might shoot somebody's leg to see what happened. Just because, really, just completely out of my yeah, out of it. Bye. Drinking these uh, licorice whip shot things. Oh, my God. Do you bite people or anything? Uh, like no, but I got a fascination. I've been told with guns. I start asking for, hey, anybody got a gun? And they go, no. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's little known, but I guess it is known because uh, Sky Reeve, uh, he told me that he knew about it without me saying what it was. But yeah. Captain Carl got drunk and shot off through the roof of uh <laughs> see well i don't know it's just what i hear but i don't get that wasted all that often but the few times that i've had uh no memory of whatever and it's always from liquor they got me a few shots and you know after that certain point you can't decide anything anymore <laughs> that's where i went I and i'm just... but i was with dennis so i figured nothing was going to happen bad and i was right nothing happened my wife <laughs> i my wife and her sister and her mom they decided to get rid of us to go have go get drunk and have fun go but go do it over there don't do it at the house with us go do it at the bar win-win <laughs> they got pool table and you know slot machines and all this shit at the alcohol <laughs> go do go fuck up their house <laughs> You don't you don't agree with that? I, I like the way they do it, but okay. I I don't think I could do that very often. What are you reading about now, Sport? Soft the foot. Urban, urban word, word of the day: Ricky Renuncia, whatever. Okay, yeet usury. Ah, uh, the Jewish shit. Two words for me: yeet and usury. See, that, that's another problem I got with the Catholics and the Jews, is the Catholics rent the usury thing from the Jews. It's the Jews' thing. How are the Catholics using it? Well, there it is. It means a colloquial phrase used by Puerto Ricans that said to someone that should uh, call it quits. Okay, what does that mean? That's what it means. Okay, lost me completely. Two words. Ricky Renuni, R Renuncia. Right. Renuncia. Ricky Renuncia. Yippee dippy do. Man, my work is going to kill me. Hmm. Ricky Renuncia, dude. I, I think you've lost it completely this time, but that's just my opinion. Well, tonight, what? We covered parallels. Mm, what I brought up. We need more problems. Problems are good. We need lots and lots of them. More problems for everybody to solve. Solutions are good, sir. And without problems, you can have no solutions. So I suggest more problems. <laughs> you don't even have any problems, you liar. <laughs> well, well eat for dinner. See, is that really a problem? <laughs> Is that your problem, sport? You're winning. I I'm consider a, a problem would be something like, uh, hmm, what would a problem be? I don't. I can't even give you a good example of one right now. I'm so far from them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm typing the notes, so you go my ahead. Friend, my friend's water heater went out. Ouch, that's a problem. That's a problem. Ow. And what are you going to do about it? Well, he bought up another one and a bunch of other stuff for 300 bucks, and uh, it's all like new. Somebody had a fire in a trailer, and they took everything out. All the <laughs> refrigerator and washer and dryer and all that stuff. And one, man's, yeah. Buck, so. one man's meat is another man's vermin. Are you going to put that in there? No. Oh. I'm typing the title. We could... Uh, Make possum pie. I've never made possum pie. I ain't neither. But years and years ago, I did learn how to bake for a period of time. That was kind of fun. I like to bake in the morning. But I didn't pursue it. I'm, 
I'm not one to. I don't like to taste food, but you know how people always say, taste this when they're cooking it. I yeah, I hate I'll... that. Oh my god! I don't know what it is. You'd think, hey, that's kind of cool. They want me to taste it, but I think I don't want to be the guy that tastes it. What if it ain't any good? <laughs> well, I work for a chef. <laughs> Well, I was kind of exaggerating with the any not any good part, uh, but it's that uh, friends being mother tested. I don't know. We used to go stop by her house for food all the time. We was out close by when we was working, and she, yeah, she would always. Oh man, she made the sauce like cooked for a long, long time. It was so good. Go for a meatball sandwich. Yeah, mm. and that's it. I'm I, doing I notes. Like Italian food. They so, come in this. Your cheeks, and they say, "Oh, you're so good." Take a taste. Uh, okay, I'm making notes. You go ahead and yank. No, no. yet. I don't know what to say. Well, we're at the end of the program, boss. You know what goes on at the end? Uh, there's uh, Judge Dredd popping in and out right again. Oh, who who cares? The uh, assassination artist. Look, he stole the one uh, about the. Uh, uh, hot dog on a stick and post it over at the other place. <laughs> so, oh, whatever, Vinny. That's, I, that's I don't fake care. News. Fake news. Fake <clears throat> news. Very, very fake. What fake, is? Fake news. There's no such thing as a hot dog on a stick. The people there. Very, <laughs> really, very fake. <clears throat> okay. They they make corn dogs. There's no such thing as fake news. Hot dog on a stick. Fake news. <laughs> Why not? You've decided for everybody now. Absolutely. So. So what? Tell me. Tell you what. What? what what's uh, what's coming up? What's coming up is today is Tuesday. Oh, it is the Tuesday. Twenty third of July, two zero one and nine. But yeah, on, I was... on Wednesdays and Fridays at seven o'clock, you know what happens. Oh, uh, yes. When Grammy blasts off, she gets gassy in her chair. <laughs> and then she gets gassy in her pie hole. <laughs> hey, high rates. 3.14% off today only. Okay. <clears throat> and then what happens uh, at, on Thursday? Percent off. Yeah. Thursday is 2 o'clock Eastern time. Yeah. Such a deal. But I, I, I do that show at the time stated. <laughs> This mess, this in a perfect world mess. Wow. I don't know what to make of it. We're we're on a hiatus until you're back. <laughs> oh, yeah, that. <laughs> oh, and still, you you and Chuck did a good one. Uh, hats off. I'm trying to bust 200 on the uh, bit shoot. We're getting close. How do you promote these things? Too, you are the promoting king. I'm not very good at it because I don't really play there algorithmic games well you do something because when you decide you're going to get some number you get it well i just keep at it keep poking it and poking it oh you're like that poking Mm. poking. so what what time is freakers ball or is it grim balls to the ball this week unless you're in new mexico then it'll be nine o'clock and it's ten o'clock if you're in arkansas or chicago is he mooseless or not she may or may not. Moose, the moose has been on the loose, and uh, she's off on the cabusa right now. That's right, riding that train. Uh-huh. Festival? Is she festivaling again? That's what I saw. No, she's off no? on the, to ride the, the cannonball. Oh, I missed today. I haven't, I was busy today. Okay, and then uh, Saturday, we got a dark awesome. table at noon on the East Coast. Yeah, I was thinking it was Saturday because me and you are doing radio. What's yeah, I know, because right, because you don't do this with me anymore, you big old dork. So we're stalled at one eighty six. I'll have to do the tweet out like Grimner told me from uh, from Bit Shoot and add the Bit Shoot uh, hashtag Bit Shoot. Yeah, and that will that ought to be enough to bump it up over two hundred. Hmm. And Frumpy, he says thanks. Good show, he says. Thank you, Frump. I never know, you know, when we do the shit, I just, I'm just talking to you for a while. Or when I'm doing alone, I don't know. Just whatever comes to mind at the time. I think uh, Grim <laughs> still holds the record. High views. Let's go see. Cool. Well, he should be. He should be the most popular fella on the RL and M. 
We can't do shit without him, so, yeah, pay attention. It is the uh, Freakers Ball podcast from 2018, June the 8th. And had GitHub, Robots, Bitcoin, Starbucks, and is a flat. Uh-oh. Here's one that's got 344 views. Grammy's got 283 views from... uh, uh, 516 of 2018 cannabis cure dandelions ethanol sunscreen. Uh, no, so Sunday we've got uh, Grimner playing blues and we're playing trivia. If you got fast fingers in a quick mind, come on along right here at noon eastern. Dot com, followed three hours later by Hal Anthony from Behind the Woodshed. Monday we've got Grim leftovers, they're pretty good. If you don't mind the <coughs> little belly aching. Sometimes the gremlin. <laughs> Smart ass. Yeah. Tuesday back again to enough perfect the world of contrasting your occupation. I appreciate y'all for coming along for the listen right here at rlmradio.xyz. Get on over here and join the chat. You got something to complain about? Yeah, that's where it's at. Yeah, like pretty much. I agree Daddy. with that. Daddy. Everybody, everybody done now? We all done now. Well, sir. thanks everybody, and catch you next time on In a Perfect World.